Hi, it's Charlie from Stan James. Welcome to a preview of this weekend's Breeders' Cup action. Two fantastic days racing, and we begin with the marathon. Oh, marathon over a mile and three quarters. Remember, this has been going since 2008. And Rafe Beckett won it in 2008 and 2009. Man of Iron won it for Aidan O'Brien. But the difference is that they were, of course, were both on the pro ride surface. And I don't think we will have be as effective the European Challenge on the dirt this year in Churchill Downs in Kentucky but uh, let's begin with the marathon um, Bryce arrives in the Irish Zarowicz winner uh, runs around about a 6 to 1 shot for Bally Doyle also precision break the Mallard winner for Paul Cole and that was in Doncaster of course back in September I think connections are both to be applauded for taking the chance but and it's just the dirt surface this was synthetic surface if this were a pro ride surface i think you'll find a much stronger european challenge uh, the phillies turf race uh, juvenile phillies turf together of um, bally doyle they've been moaning the fact that she's drawn in uh, 13 and johnny murter i think uh, thinks that that might defeat her pick pass on some very good word for winter memories for unbeaten uh, Philly, she's won two from two so far on turf as well, and she's going for a hat trick. She's around about five to two with Stan James, which is considered pretty useful. Sarah Louise runs for Godolphin in the Philly's uh, Philly Mare Sprint on dirt. Uh, she has won on Aqueduct and Aqueduct on dirt, but I think she has a bit to prove. If there is to be a European ch a winner on dirt, it could be Thayskin's Theory. Remember, this one finished third at Ascot in the Group 1 <coughs> Phillies Mile on her final start. She wasn't beaten far at all. She got a good draw in for two for someone who likes to race prominently. She was impressed with Goodwood prior to that. But the most important thing is, I think, that she's bred to appreciate the dirt. Her half-brother, um, Stevie Wonderboy, won the Juvenile. Uh, in the juvenile dirt race a few years ago now and I just think that might be the significant factor if there is to be a European winner on the dirt I think there will be of course on the turf during the two days it may well be Thayskin's theory Martin Dwyer would have taken the mount I think Ryan Moore sorry Frankie of course takes the mount this time drawn in two wouldn't surprise me if Fran Frankie tries to make all uh, the highlight undoubtedly though is the fully immersed turf of the first day that is midday interesting amazingly still to think that this time last year the great Henry Cecil hadn't saddled a winner of the Breeders' Cup well, he has now via midday and I really do sincerely hope and think he will get a second winner courtesy again of midday it was a mile and a quarter remember 10 furlongs last year on the, at Santa Anita it's up to 11 furlongs the more rain the better there is rain forecast on Friday if they get the, I mean the more rain the, the, the bigger the most more rain the bigger the certainty this midday is I think she's the best filly in the field I think Henry Cecil of course she has won group one races at launch up in the in the pre May one of the prep races on our uh, uh, trials day she also of course has won the, uh, the Nassau Stakes over 10 films and of course she has won the Yorkshire Oaks at York she is a top top class uh, filly and I think she will take all the beating uh, on Friday night but that is the main highlight on Friday up to Saturday and uh, begin with the uh, juvenile turf race and Master of Hounds Master of Hounds Johnny Mercer said this is, if he's going to have a winner if Ballydor are going to have a winner it will be with Master of Hounds but it's only a fortnight to go since he finished third behind Casamento in the racing post trophy he got a decent draw around about a 72 shot with ourselves at Stan James onto the big three races and we start with the uh, the mile if midday's of course is going for the double then Golda Kova is going for a three peat but will she be able to she again has been drawn out in the car park in 10 Previso of course she used to race against as a, a two-year-old in France that is drawn the only horse drawn her outside in 11 um, I just think wouldn't it be ironic Richard Hughes going you know head to head for the jockey title at Doncaster and of course whether he wins or draws that he's ridden Paco Boy four times and beaten by Golda Cove for the first time Ryan Moore gets on board Paco Boy wouldn't it be ironic if of course the first time that Moore gets his leg across um, Paco Boy that he actually gains his revenge and beats, Paco, um, beats Golda Cove if he were mine Paco Boy he'd be riding more prominently this time and try and get first run on Golda Cove especially with the filly drawn out in the uh, in, out in stall five the mare rather drawn out in stall 10. she's around about a even money shot for the Gio Ponte again is considered best of the American challenge slightly surprised that the post thought she he rather would go for the classic up to earlier in the week when I, I was advised that she, he was always more likely 
to go for the um, the mile. <clears throat> the turf is fascinating. The uh, remember we've had seven, I think, octagonal winners, including Sormanis, Saki. Uh, including going back to Dancing Brave in 1986, come on from the Arc de Triomphe and all have failed um, in the Breeders' Cup, including Dancing Brave, as I say, in 1986. What makes work for so special? Well, he's more likely raced than others. The important thing, of course, is this sequence of win, lost, win, lost, win. Um, it, whether he will run, of course, depends on the state of the ground and uh, connections seem to be putting slight pressure on the uh, ground staff at Churchill Downs. I don't think they will be for bending. I must say, I don't think they're going to pan this as Michael Stout. Whether he gets away with it, some other places, he won't get away with it in Churchill Downs. But there is rain forecast on Friday, and our watering letter workforce can take his place in the field. I think Beckerbad is the one to beat. Again, I don't think the American turf horses are up to much. And then, of course, we leave the last race of course and Yata I've said it along she's been given a fair draw a good draw in seven looking at Lucky who I like the Preakness winner for Bob Laffert he's drawn out in the car park in 13 but I think he's a dirt horse I think it's all down to the surface and Zen Yata 19 from 19 and she is the horse that's hopefully going to make the Breeders Cup 2010 absolutely special she's a six-year-old mare she's unbeaten but is she unbeatable We'll find out on Saturday night. It really should be a wonderful race. She gave the boys a start and a beating last year. Can she do it again? Be lucky.